Hey, what's up? Welcome back, everyone, to the Iceman Isaac Academy, the second channel of the Warzone Academy, dedicated specifically to coaching every single day. Today, we are doing spectating solos where I splat off the very beginning and watch people rotate. We're looking at gun skill, we're looking at rotations, and we're looking at one of the most comedic end games I've ever seen. I'm telling you, we just did this live over on Twitch. <laughs> My reactions are insane because this was absolute absurdity. But there's a lot to learn here, especially about trigger discipline. That's going to be one of the fundamental skills that I think a lot of people lack, and it's costing them, and it's getting them turned on, and not in the good way. So if you guys enjoy the style of video where I coach your gameplay, make sure to drop a like on this. Subscribe for even more. But without further ado, let's get in to the gameplay of the day. Enjoy. We're going to coach what we think they're doing right, what they're doing wrong, and uh, watch it all the way through till the end. But most importantly, oh my god! <laughs> I, uh, I always like to give someone a little surprise on my way down. <laughs> All right, so we're checking out YG Big. Perfect, he's in a little gunfight and he gets absolutely gunned. It looks like that guy has like a, a Rowl up in a window or something. Rowl is currently the fastest killing LMG in the game. Looks like he's about to get a little third party. We got someone sneaking up on him though. Irksome Dawn. We don't know how many plates he has on, unfortunately. They still haven't fixed the plate spectator glitch. Two kills already. We have attack 56. Self re pistol. Doesn't seem to be too bad of a player. Like he's always like kind of like centering for information, but uh, well, we'll have to see. Lots the player. Okay, maybe he's not that great of a player. Like if you got attack 56, my guy from there, you not need to be mounted. And his centering is also really low. Like, he keeps centering, like, at, at that guy's knees, right? Like, you want your first shots to be mid-chest, and then when the recoil hits, it goes to head. I was right. It was a Rowl LMG, and... Oh, I think this guy's on, on mouse and key or something. I don't even know, but he got absolutely slammed. By FaZe Mike. All right, hey, like, I know, I know a lot of you young gamers are, like, FaZe fans. But like, if you're going to be a FaZe fan, capitalize the Z. It's big F, little A, big Z, E. Not even a phase fan. Ever been a part, but you know, it's just like we're gonna be phase Mike. Let's do it right here, you know? Let's do it right here. Alright, so we're in here with phase Mike three. Got himself three kills. Okay, so what we're gonna be doing is we're doing is we're gonna kinda like walk through. We'll talk about some things that we see in inter gunfights, maybe talk about some rotations, but especially towards the end game, talk about what's going on. Solos is a strange beast, man. We did our we did our first spectating solos, like a true, like splat spectating solos um earlier this week because typically when i do spectating solos i do where i'll try to play it through until the end but that doesn't really feel like a spectating solos because at least in solos when i try and i'm talking about my rotations nine times out of ten i'm making it at least into the top 10 situation right so there was hardly any spectating or players that weren't myself so in this scenario we're going to take it from the very top with spectating looking at mike here uh, end game is where solos can get crazy because like, you know, you can run into some really, really ratty players. And then it's typically not until the very, very end game that you start to run into some actual higher level players. Like right now, I don't know what the heck this guy is doing. He tried to run him over. I don't know if he has any plates to his name. And he just tried to slide cancel. And I think he got the kill because the ATV blew up and then took out that guy's health. And that guy was wearing the Rose 5.0 skin. He had a Platinum MP5. That actually would have been a really decent player to watch. But I think he got damaged by the ATV blowing up. Unlucky. Unlucky. Yeah, solos can be pretty crazy, man. You, you spectate some of these and it's like... Oh, on his left? Oh my god, this guy's checking his phone or something. I think he's pulling up his backpack. You can spectate some total bots, and then at the end, there's always someone at the end of the solos match in the top 10 that's just running through the entire lobby. Very rarely do I see, like, just a total bot ending in solos. Guy got the paranoia. He's always checking behind him. <laughs> really making sure that he doesn't want to get shot in the back. 
I mean, there comes a certain point if someone's going to be chowling over the back of the hill, he's going to shoot you anyway. So you checking for it doesn't help out too much. You might as well just get out of no man's land quicker. Like if you're stuck in no man's land and you're doing 360s, that's just slowing down your time in no man's land. You check, get and you send it. And then you check when you get to cover. Let's see what he does. We got $12,000. Unfortunately, it, we, it used to be that we could say like concrete things, right? Where it's like, okay, if he hits a buy station, he needs to get a self revive. He needs to get a UAV. He needs to get a armor box. But like buy stations are random now. So we don't even have that luxury anymore where we can tell people what to buy in buy stations. Um, and we can't even tell. I don't think we can tell if he has self revive or not. I can't remember if the, the spectating UI will give us that information. I do not review Resurgence gameplay, mainly because Resurgence gameplay is all just gunfights. People play kind of headless in that game. They don't really play for wins up until the very last circle. Most people are just sprinting around and just banking on, banking on the fact that they can get a redeployment. That's tough. If you find yourself in a situation like that, if someone's got the high ground, the best thing that you can do is try to get cover for a second, throw a smoke at your feet, or just try to like run into that building behind them. He, he was pretty much dead there, no matter what. There was a door behind him that he could have gotten behind. Winning that fight off the head glitch is near impossible. All right, sweet. Over here with jokes. He's got four kills. He's rocking the last season meta. RPK Finnick. Looks like this guy's doing what I would do. He's got smoke, Simtex. He's wrapping towards the buy, possibly to get himself a UAV. He's already got a uh, cluster strike in the pocket and seems to be moving fairly well. A little bit of bad centering there. Super low. Sometimes jumping can like... Jumping's a really weird thing in this game, right? So like in previous Call of Duties, or like previous Warzone, it was nice because we could jump and use that and it would maintain our horizontal momentum. We lost all bunny hopping in this game we have lost all horizontal momentum the only time you're going to get a bunny hop is if you're coming off of a really high hill and when you jump you take a little bit of fall damage and then you can do like what what i would call like a g hop um all the way back in uh, in Warzone, where it would like launch you like 15 feet or something ridiculous right um fortunately for them when he jumped it brought his aim up but me personally i still have this bad habit of bunny hopping when I'm in gunfights, and it really, really costs me. Because I'll jump, and my aim will be going above someone's head instead of me just keeping my freaking feet planted and gunning someone. I've lost gunfights because I've tried to do too much. And by do too much, it was more of just a nervous habit, right? It's like the people that do YYs because they're trying to keep their hands primed. Like, that's the whole reason you see pro players, like, pressing YY. It's like, it's like a nervous habit to, like, keep their hands warm because if you're just running around and doing nothing... And then all of a sudden you have to get into a really complex gunfight. It really messes with you. So if I'm this guy, right? I see him. I want to take shots at him, but let's push up to here where I can get those guaranteed shots and then get the kill. But right now, the guy inside the building is prepared. Like, he knows that the threat is near him. Fortunately, the guy that he's shooting at is a total idiot. But even still, he doesn't get the thirst. Right? So, like, ideally you are waiting until you can shoot and you know you're going to get the kill. He's in a really good power position right now. The zone is pushing him in. He can just continue to hold this guy. Watches the lower left wrap. Starts to get some shots, but if he's not careful... Oh no, that's... Yikes, bro. You got a durable gas mask. And you're crossing into no man's land. That was really risky. That was really risky. That guy, if he would have waited just a second longer to challenge... He would have been crossing into no man's land and would have lost. Right? So even if you're going to tank some gas damage, you got a full durable. You're basically committed to backtracking through no man's land. So you have to hold this guy. You also have two. Well, he doesn't have Simtexes anymore. He dropped him. Um, but yeah, he kind of put himself in a bad spot there based off of where he was holding. The plates are still bugged. Correct. You cannot, you cannot see anything when plates are bugged. If I'm him, depending on his inventory management spot, I would throw down the munitions box. I would stow the smokes. 
and then I would re-up my drill charges. Drill charges are neat, but smokes are so important in this game because there's no other outplay other than just breaking line of sight. I kind of like what this guy's doing, though. He's kind of checking the lower left wrap to see where people might be rotating out of. And he seems to be pretty on the hunt for kills. Like, he's he's moving out of the zone, right? That's that's how you can kind of tell he's playing aggressively. Is he, he moved from center zone out to look for kills. Now he's continuing to look for more. So, who knows? We might have a decent player on our hands that can, that can rack up some higher kills. We're seeing a lot of dead bodies right there. We're seeing a lot of loot that's still fresh. It's definitely something to keep an eye out for that there's probably going to be someone near here. Spots him. Nice. Nice. He spotted him. Got the shots off. Just kept the pre-aim there for a second to see like, hey, is this guy going to like hop up and like chow me off that head glitch? Because that head glitch is disgusting. As soon as he saw that he wasn't, pushed up with the SMG and capitalized. If you really, really wanted to play that 100% safe, like if it's the 1v1 to win the match, you throw the cluster strike on top of that guy. Um, But I... I would do that every time like he just did. Just push up there and know that, hey, I can hit my shots with my SMG. So now he's kind of doing what I talked about all the way back in, in Caldera. You would see this a lot more in Caldera and Verdansk because vehicles, in my opinion, are a little better. Um, and you also didn't have to deal with all the smoke or not smoke, uh, running out of gas. Doing the pinwheel rotation, but modifying it. And instead of doing it on foot, you're doing it with vehicle. That's some actual good trigger discipline there, though. Previous times, it seemed like he was maybe shooting a little bit too early when he could wait to catch a guaranteed kill. There, he actually held his shots and is wrapping up for a more advantageous position. Now, keep in mind, he might be using a third party, so he's looking around that we can't see. We're kind of locked in on, on this view. But what he's doing is he's just keeping the driver's side away from his opponent, so that way he can get out and shoot off to the right and be safe. If you do find yourself in a disadvantageous position where, like, you get into the vehicle and the animation of you getting into the vehicle exposes your left side, like, let's say someone's shooting him on the left, in order to cancel that animation, instead of getting out of the vehicle, because then at that point you're basically dead, start switching seats. And it'll teleport you from one seat over to the other seat. Requesting fire mission. This is a horrible play. He, he crossed out into this wide no-man's land. Even if the guy throws a cluster on me, like, I don't really care. Clusters... Don't really kill that fast. And like, if you're sprinting up through that no man's land, I'm just going to gun you while you're running up to the no man's land and then rotate out. He needs to pay attention though, because he hears shots on his lower right. There's someone holding him on the lower right. Lots the guy on the left. Yeah, this is what I'm talking about with trigger discipline, man. Like, this guy's shooting before he can get the kill. Now this guy's going to get behind cover. Like, he should have just waited. Pulled out his RPK and gunned him. Or, like, move up faster with the Fennec and then shoot when you get closer. Because audio in this game sucks. So, I, I called it all the way back, you know, when he was challenging over here. That he lacked trigger discipline. We're going to see if he has, has uh, learned his lesson as we see the redeploy. Pulling up really high here. Gets his RPK. He had time there, man. One, if he didn't mess up his landing, but two, like he had time to grab something off the ground and then run out. But now he's stuck with a pistol as his close range.
So like, what's the game plan here? What, what are we rotating for? What's the game plan? Are we looking for more loot? Me personally, I'm going to get my guaranteed loot and I'm going to rotate aggressively or rotate aggressively. I got $6,000, $8,000. Don't shoot, don't shoot, don't shoot, don't shoot. See, like this guy's even thinking about shooting. Why are we even thinking about shooting right there? And geez, lost all of his plates. He's going to die. Oh my god! He lived through the Simtex. I think he has... He must have, like, EOD. I'm going to confidently say that was not calculated. I'm going to confidently say that was not calculated. He needs to cut right... There you go. You've got gas oh no. <gasps> You're in the top ten. Well done. What? Okay, I was about to say, are we gonna spectate him again? I thought he had another redeploy. Oh wait, why are we watching this guy? This isn't the same guy. Okay, well, he walked into a freaking proximity mine and a shoddy it was his mine wait was it what? there's no way was it his mine from like an hour ago well he died it, i don't know why that registered as like a suicide and not as a kill nice that's exactly what i was gonna say like hey we gotta be checking checking these top hills for rats expect the chow man <gasps> Yeah, you just gotta expect that. With with the third person vehicle, it's it's so easy to see what's going on, right? Like you gotta know that they're gonna challenge you. Here we are with blessed shot. He's got ten kills. He's now doing exactly what I was gonna say. You gotta clear out the top of the zone. Spots a player way deep off to the right, and I'm not sure why he's not getting out. Park your vehicle, shoot over the top of your hood, and just gun this guy. Got great cover here. I'm guessing his high alert started to pop right there. He's getting smoked. Oh, oh my god! He just hurdled the ATV? And I don't know what he's doing. He could just get back in his dune buggy. He's going to have to hurdle it again. Maybe not. This is this is the the biggest roller coaster of emotions I've ever watched. Jaws running around on a smoking ATV in the final circle. He's probably going to crash that. Yup. He wasn't even plated. My man was running around on an ATV unplated. Got the hemlock. He's got nothing left in his durable. Four kills to his name. I think we just heard a cluster mine go off. Really great use of the smoke there. Just primo use of the smoke. Definitely don't definitely didn't need that for, for late game. What the fuck are we doing here, Joss? This guy's this guy's not playing for information. He's not trying to figure out where the people in the like. Right now, I understand it's scary. It's scary. You gotta figure out where this freaking lobby is at, man. Like, so that way you can play your cover accordingly. If you just run out and then they find you, you're screwed. But we know, hey, probably two people up here. Hey, okay? the Hummer disappeared. Now, that means there's definitely one person up here. And more than likely, there's a person down here. And we need to start making decisions. When we see the chaos up here with the Hummer, let's wrap up and try to third party that. 
Wrap up top left. Go, 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 go. And then you 1v1 down the person down low, but instead we're like... We're completely giving up the high ground. Not even trying to fight for it in the slightest. There we go. Yeah, get up there. Get up there. Look top left. Look top left. And then as soon as you've gotten top left, look low right. Look top left. Look. He needs to get this guy while he's sprinting. Yes. Go! This guy's throwing stuns for the sake of throwing stuns. Yeah, brother. And then instantly, bottom of the hill, bottom of the hill, bottom of the hill. This guy needs to check his lower left wrap. There it is, in the bush, in the bush, right there. I love this. I don't think he has a gas mask, though. Tone out, bro. Tone out. You know, chat, like, I'm not even in the game, and I've got all the info, okay? <sighs> you find yourself in that situation... Especially with whatever monstrosity of a row that guy had in his hands. Aim down sight, stand up. And that way you're not aiming down sight after you stand up. You aim down sight and then stand up and start firing. Holy, what a game. What a game. Jesus, bro. But like that guy, man, all he had to do when he's waiting for that guy to wrap in, he instead he throws a pop stun. Look up and know that he's got to be running through no man's land. Boom, off a head glitch, gunned. And then you look to the lower right and you win your 1v1. But instead, he's like, just, just crouching. Just crouching. Oh, I hope that hits somebody. He's got to watch the Academy videos. Well, if you made it this far, you just watched an Academy video. Make sure to drop a like if you stay till the end and subscribe for even more.